Hello everyone, we're back again with another critique video. Today on the channel we have Beth Farako Fitness. Not sure how to pronounce her name, but I know it's Beth. Recently I was actually sent this video by somebody and thought I would just add that to the critique folder because I've got a slew of them in there. It is superfluously teeming with videos like this. That's an Instagram reel. It's about calories. So, you know, it's one of my favorite topics. No, it's not actually. Glucose typically is on the channel and sugar and all that, but calories is arguably number two. Too. So we'll go ahead and just jump right into that. But first, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Patreon. I have a $1 month tier, a $5 month tier, and an $8 month tier to gain access to one week early uploads, three videos per week, ad-free content, uncensored content, and unblurred pop-up references on screen. That feature, that last one, will actually be brought to YouTube very soon. I have just now added that to the $1 month tier, which will be moved up to a $2 month tier on April 1st. Just a fair warning, but come on, $1 to $2, what's that going to do? But as more people have been subscribing to the Patreon, I am allowing more perks to be extrapolated to YouTube. So with that being said, the only final note that I'll add is that my book Contraindicated is available for pre-order on Kindle as we speak. The ebook version is available for pre-order particularly, and the final release is also scheduled for April 1st, Monday, April 1st. The paperback is also scheduled to release the same date, and the hardcover is not scheduled to release then, but it will be as soon as today, potentially, but it's probably going to be within the next little while. It will be within this week though. So please pre-order that now. I can finally say pre-order now on my videos and sound all official. So anyway, now we'll jump directly into this video. Your body won't let go of weight until it feels safe enough to do so. And this well, that's not exactly the case. Depends on what your implications are there. If you're talking about the endocrine system balance that one should achieve an optimal status of, which is easily, most propitiously achieved by eating a species-appropriate, species-specific diet, then yes. But it's not that the body feels fear or a lack of safety. That is not the case. We need to be technical here. No offense to this woman here. No idea who she is, but I think that she may be referring to the endocrine system and that is absolutely what dictates how one stores, excretes, or recycles mass. So, if that is what she's saying, then for the most part, she's correct. Not be more true. And we wonder why so many people are confused. It was a confusing statement. I don't know exactly what she meant. However, you took a snippet of what she said. See, whenever I react to people's videos, I play the entire thing. Of course, this is an IG reel, so I'm going to be forgiving, but, you know. Shit like this. Have you ever seen an overweight prisoner of war? Those people in Naked and Afraid. You think they're holding on to their weight until their next f***ing cockroach meal? What about the people that are legitimately f***ing starving? Or people with anorexia? Think their body is holding on to weight until the next f***ing celery stick? Now I'm not- Oh, that wasn't her point. Really, I don't know what her point was, actually, because once again, you take a snippet of what she said. I'm going to assume that she was talking about the endocrine system. If she's talking about the endocrine system, then- <laughs> She's absolutely right that your body will tend to store more fat and sacrifice more muscle depending on if you have high cortisol, high insulin, as opposed to low glucagon, and more coupled mitochondria as well. Beth, I don't really know what your point is here. But let's play and see if we can derive that. Be an asshole here, but I mean, that's- No, you are trying to be an asshole. Absolutely. That's your entire shtick on this page, actually. I've seen snippets of your content as well. You're like me. You try and be abrasive and callous in order to garner an audience. So far, it looks like you've done a pretty good job. But you are trying to be an don't lie. Don't be a liar now. And dumb this shit sounds. And even with a metabolic condition, you do not defy the laws of thermodynamics. It just- You don't know what the laws of thermodynamics even f***ing say, Beth. If I got you up on this channel right now, right now as we speak, and asked you what law of thermodynamics you're even citing, what the law says, and when and when it's not applied, you would not be able to answer those questions for me. Maybe one or two. Two max. I would guarantee it. What you're doing is you're citing the first law of thermodynamics, not the laws of. You're citing the first law of thermodynamics dynamics, which actually has no words. It's a formula. Delta U equals Q minus W. The change in internal energy is equal to the energy applied to that system minus the work done by that system, where the internal energy of the system seems to be the amount of energy of the system that's required to set that system up for the undertaking of such work. It explicitly excludes mass from the equation because mass is not involved in closed systems, which is what the law is applied to. And let me ask you something, Beth. Are we closed systems or are we open systems? We're open systems. In fact, Beth. What's the difference? Well, let me tell you. Open thermodynamic systems not only allow for the flow of energy in and out of the body, but also the flow of mass, something real and tangible in and out of the body through water vapor, carbon dioxide excretion, urine, sweat, tears, fecal matter, etc. So yes, we do obey the laws of thermodynamics, but the first law is not applicable to us.
is that you have a lower BMR than the average person and it's going to be harder for you to get into a calorie deficit. But You can't be in a calorie deficit unless you're in a hypothermic event. Calories are the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water around a closed thermodynamic system, also known as a bomb calorimeter, by one degree Celsius. It's a measurement of kinetic activity, or the movement of the molecules within that water. That movement being caused by photons of a certain wavelength interacting with the surrounding water after being released from the rapid combustion of a food within said bomb calorimeter via a massive electrical current which causes rotations, vibrations, and translations. That is all they are. So therefore we say on an informal basis that calories are units of heat energy. I say informal though because actually energy can't be directly measured. The pure authentic form of energy cannot be directly measured. Really they're units of temperature and nothing more, but even then that gets contentious because there's really only three measurements of temperature and that's Kelvin, Celsius, and Fahrenheit. So energy can be paradoxical at times depending on the field that you're expounding and speaking upon. So anyway, the entire point of this is to say that calories are units of heat energy informally speaking and the human body does not absorb energy. It absorbs mass. Calories are photons effectively. If we could absorb calories and photons, we could get fat from sitting in the sun too long. Beth? As you guys should know by now, no supplements need to be taken on a carnivore diet, as you can derive everything you need from such a diet. However, this does not mean there aren't certain nutraceuticals that can be taken to further ameliorate inflammation, and subsequently any illness, disorder, and disease one may be plagued with. One of the best products on the market, if not the best product in doing such a thing, is the flagship product to a company known as Cerule called Stem Enhance Ultra, which effectuates the release of one's own inherent stem cells from their bone marrow. When this occurs, this results in what may be perceived by some to be the epitome of regeneration. Now, I cannot under any circumstances claim any cause and effect relationship from this product and any hard health outcomes. However, one may speculate what they wish with this information. If you want to know more about this product or are interested in buying this product, as well as many other products from the Cerule Company, please refer to the link on the screen now or the description below. Because it still f***ing applies. No, it f***ing doesn't. Beth, actually. You see how silly you look? You just grabbed this woman's video and insulted and vituperated her, at least her ideology, which may very well have been rooted in truth. Again, couldn't f***ing see the whole thing, but it's one thing to do that and be right. It's another thing to do it and be wrong. You take a risk being as abrasive as you are, because being as abrasive as you are, it hits harder when you're right, but it makes you look really bad if you're wrong. <laughs> Goodness me. Once again. If you are not losing fat, you are not in fact in a calorie f***ing deficit, no matter- You're not in a f***ing calorie deficit no matter if you're losing fat or not, Beth. I just explained that, didn't I? The most auspicious way to lose fat is to get your endocrine system under control. What does that mean? It means to have lower insulin homeostatically, and it means to have higher glucagon homeostatically as compared to the normal levels and the normative levels of those hormones that are exhibited by the population at large. Okay, insulin is an anabolic hormone. Anabolic meaning building up and storing things. It's responsible for glycogenesis, lipogenesis, and muscle building, to be fair. But fat storage and the creation of glucose within the muscles for later use. Glucagon is responsible for ketogenesis, the production of ketones. Lipolysis, the breaking down of fat into smaller constituents. Gluconeogenesis, the endogenous creation of glucose from amino acids and odd chain fatty acids. In fact, actually, if you have lower insulin, this uncouples the mitochondria, creating a hydrophobic pore within the mitochondrial membrane, which allows for more protons to be pumped inside the matrix that do not have the consequence of ATP production. In other words, it allows your body to use more effective fuel to create the same amount of ATP and allows you to expend more of that fuel in the form of heat, and you expend more of it instead of storing more of it. Hormones play a massive role in body composition. That is what is actually something to pay attention to and to moderate and regulate. It's mass in, mass out, not energy in, energy out, so calories in, calories out can go F itself. Okay, bye. Bye, Beth. You look like a f***ing fool. And you sound like one too. And honestly, based on this video alone, just first impressions here, you are one. Recently I saw a video of you talking about Paul Saladino, who is an absolute misanthrope and a miscreant of the highest order, really. So it's not like I'm in favor of him. I've done videos on Paul before. But of course you attacked a claim that he made that was actually in fact true. That you shouldn't eat vegetables. Particularly broccoli. And you just went on a hysterical rant. It was inane. But anyway, let's read her caption. Information like this is harmful and false. Yes, information like what she just posted is false. Your body won't let go of weight until it feels safe to do so? You can't make this shit up. Yeah, not a good way of phrasing it, but she may have just been trying to be informal in order to make it more easily conceptualized for her audience as to what she was implying. Context matters. That's why I include all of the claims and the entirety of the video that I'm reacting to in my videos. It's authenticity, Beth. If you're not losing fats because you're not in a calorie deficit, false. Because you can't f***ing be in a calorie deficit unless you're in a hypothermic event. I do not know how many times I have to say this, but you cannot create energy from nothing and calories are energy.
energy. Yep, calories are energy. They're units of heat energy. They're photons. They have a rest mass of zero. Therefore, they can affect the mass balance of the body by zero, up or down, actually. Beth, you know this if you did even a lick of scientific analyzing and studying, but you haven't. You're a coach, and therefore, you're just a regular human being that has opinions about things, and your opinion means sh even with a metabolic condition, you do not defy the laws of thermodynamics. We already covered that. You will just have a lower BMR. We already covered all this. You're not broken. You're human, and humans make mistakes. Oh, tell me about it. Beth, you made a very, very grand mistake. Stop looking for problems where they do not exist and start looking for the f***ing solutions right in front of you. True, Beth. But you don't know what those solutions are, and you don't know what the problems are. We can do hard things. Yeah, but it looks like you can't do easy things, which is, you know, study. Love, Coach Beth. Well, that was backhanded and sarcastic. Words don't mean anything. Actions do. And the way that you just conduct yourself in this video was insufferable and it was juvenile and vindictive. It was just, wow. Talk about immaturity. How old are you, Beth? Seriously. But anyway, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel and comment your thoughts below. And also, once again, subscribe to the Patreon if you haven't already. Again, $1 a month tier, $5 a month tier, and $8 a month tier. I don't really think anyone's going to be missing $5 a month, especially $2 a month, which is what I'm going to raise the $1 a month tier up to. Also, if you have adopted a carnivorous diet and have been omitting carbohydrates and plants, but you still have inflammation that still remains and you think that you need an extra punch or an extra kick in order to ameliorate and alleviate that process, I recommend referring to the link on the screen below, the Cerule link. But before you buy that, I would recommend actually learning about the products. And luckily for you, I have a video that will be linked in the top right corner of the screen called Cerule Products, which is a thorough elucidation and explanation of what those products are, who should take it, why you should take it, what they even do in the first place. And in the future, I will have even more information about such a thing with a special interview with someone special. So stay tuned for that. That. Also, once again, buy my book, Contraindicated, when that is out, and follow me on Instagram, and especially Twitter. I am trying to actually upload my YouTube videos onto Twitter in order to hedge against any potential threat of either banning or shadow banning that I may have the very honorable privilege of experiencing and encountering as my channel continues to grow. So it is just insurance. Please go ahead and follow me on there, even if I'm not very active on there, because I may very well have to be very active if that occurs to my YouTube channel. All of my socials are linked below, so please refer to the description and click on the links there. And also email me at edgoki14 at gmail.com if you have any further questions. Now I'll try to get to those as expeditiously as possible. So that being said, join me next time when someone else makes a fool themselves online by claiming to know anything about the laws of thermodynamics, what calories are, how weight management is actually achieved auspiciously, and yeah, see you then.